Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome to a little bonus episode of the Leg the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, where I'm going to show take a little bit of time to show some of the key one of the, well one of the major differences and a few other small differences between the New Game Plus mode and the standard playthrough mode. Not a whole lot will change, so this will be kind of a super cut of sorts. But I'm going to be sitting down playing for uh, I don't know how long exactly, but most of the changes that you'll see can be noticed within the first couple hours of play, and then it becomes a same playthrough regardless. So. Now, I don't remember this that much also, because this is me now. It is I, self-insert character. Alpha Omega Sigma Scooter. If only. Listen. I'm the hero, I can do what I want. So in this you can choose between normal mode still and hero mode it looks like. So, but... So I may have been wrong about what I said very early on. But I'll just play normal mode because I'm just planning to blaze through this until I hit a certain point. So let's get started. Now I will tell you the opening cutscene is exactly the same. Hey look, you can skip it too. Fantastic, thanks game. A majority of what I want to show that's different is right here on the main island. It's right here where you start on outset. First of all, it's going to be Errol. Errol is wearing her pirate dress that she was wearing at the end of your normal playthrough. And she will have this on the entire time. I don't think this could change out for anything in, like the end of this New Game Plus playthrough, I think she just keeps this the whole time. So, after you clear the game once, if you want to see her back in her normal blue dress, you're gonna have to start up a brand new file. Another thing of note is when you start the game, you start the game with your Picto Box Deluxe. And also, any pictures you may have had in there are still in there. So at this point, this is where you'll want to start gathering up pictures to turn to turn back into the uh, trophy maker guy once you get access to it in order to preserve some pictures. It's a good idea to take a picture of the if your camera is empty. It's a good t idea to take pictures of all of the pirates and Errol because this will probably be the only time in the game you get to take pictures of them. Also, the next major change will be. Well, here. Your grandmother, well, her arms just seem to be out there. They're just out there. If you remember to the start of the game, this is when she's supposed to be holding your clothing. Well, here's the change between New Game Plus and the original playthrough is... Well, you just plain don't wear clothing that you are your link looks like this for the rest of the game link now wears his island outfit his casual outfit what do you want to call it he will wear this for the entire game now so it kind of provides a nice little pers new perspective for playing again because everything looks the same or everything will function the same but you basically have to be bedhead link for the entire playthrough Okay, I skipped through it really I was through it really fast there, but uh, I guess Errol takes note of your different out outfit as well. I suppose I can take a minute to show you things I didn't show you before. So if you come into the bomb shop, I only mentioned this, but if you come into the bomb shop right now, before he gets mugged, this guy is, uh, well, you can see. 10,000 rupees? 20? 30? Yeah, so I meant to show that off that he just kind of shows that off, uh, kind of flaunts his money, shows it off in high regard that he he has a monopoly on bombs at the moment. Also, this guy, I'll approach him right away. I didn't even press A there. Uh, okay. 
Yeah. Okay. So yeah, even though it's not that bad, it's like that's what happens. That's basically what happens if you ever get caught by him before you go to the Forsaken Fortress and rescue rescue all three of them. Is he's just like, "Oh, please save my daughter. Uh, so I could use a meal. I haven't had rupees in 13 years." Yeah, I hate him. Also, we can see this guy before he uh, turns a tale of woe. Hi! Uh... Yes, and that's why you can also see this guy who talks about going to the Forsaken Fortress. Sure, I'll help. And that's how you're supposed to find out that it goes, like, goes Prince, Prince and the Pauper type of thing. Anyway. I'm going to grab his 20 rupees right away. But we're going to go visit Tingle and find out what he's holding on to because... Well, we have the... We even have the Deluxe Picto Box. What does visiting Tingle at this point even get you? You don't need him anymore. Unfortunately, I'm curious enough to go find out. Hold on, I'm just curious. Uh, album... Okay, no, I don't have a picture of the moon here. I was wondering if I could cheese that side quest. I suppose if you took certain pictures for certain side quests, you could probably cheese, like, the end result of them. I wonder. Let's find out. I think I still got... Yeah, okay. So you can circumvent the whole side quest. You happen to have the picture on you. That's awesome. Okay, noted for you guys out there. If you want to, if you do a new playthrough, take pictures of everything that requires a pictograph and uh, do it. Anyway, Tingle, hello again. I have a pot. I dropped the pot. Uh, apparently I got pushed over in that corner. Get remind get reminded very quickly that the that me versus is no longer a thing. All right, thanks for. Yep, thanks for giving me a useless item, Tingle. Go away now. No, go away. No, not really. Oh right, he gives you this chart. Okay, now leave. Please leave. Well, I'm again, I'm curious what's in that. I'm very curious what's in there. That's nice. We don't care about we don't care about tingle bottles anymore. What we care about is what you're hiding in the back of your cell. Cuz as I said, I want to see it uh this way. Keep going. I don't see anything bad here. I don't remember how to get back there. Okay, this is a bit of a loop. Hold on. Uh, keep going. I think I may have found the right path. Keep going. Hang alright. Well, rupees are pointing the right way. And that's a trap on the left, so that means we're actually pretty much there. I haven't even visited Zunari yet. Now, here I am going to go get the Picto Box. By the way, I don't know where I am. I hope I'm at the end. Hey, I did it. Oh. It's empty. <laughs> okay. So it's empty if you have it. Alright. I guess I'll... Meet you when I get the next thing. They'll pop up. So, uh, bye, I guess. And what I wish to br show you mostly is what happens during this cutscene. I'm going to skim through it kind of quick because most of it's the same, but 
This will helpfully hope to explain how, other than general nerddom, how most of people on the internet know what uh, beasts like Valu, the King of Red Lions, and, or the King of Red Lions at one point, I think, and Jaboon say in this game. And I believe this does happen for every version of the game, like if you're playing like, uh, well, uh, any regional dial difference in the game that di diverts from English or Japanese. I think they have it translated to it. Like, I think I saw German when I was looking up my translations. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. This should be it right here. So, yeah. So, yeah, New Game Plus, you can understand Helion. It's no longer foreign to you. So, it's... Unfortunately, it's just like... Two or three things and the ability to circumvent certain side quests if you have taken pictographs of specific things a while ago. But I New Game Plus really offers not much. A couple new costumes, people addressing the fact you have new costumes. Like even Medley had a moment where she said, oh yes, you do have blue clothes. And the fact that you can understand Hillian so you are no longer missing half of the important conversations. Great Deku Tree, that was the other one. So, I'm going to leave it off at this. I don't know how long this is, because I de I hate you. I don't know how long this video is. Oh, I'm think feeling it's like it's kind of short, because I only spoke for a short amount of time. Recording-wise, it's been an hour and a half just to get to this point for me. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this bonus episode of Wind Waker, and, if you stick through it all, the entire project of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And I'll come back at you on Monday, I'm just going to say Monday, with a brand new project. If there's any filler between then and here, you'll see it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and you have a great rest of your day. Take care.